Scientists from South Korea and Russia want to clone an extinct cave lion using DNA from the frozen remains of Ice Age cubs. The two 12,000-year-old lion cubs were found almost perfectly preserved in Russia's Saka Republic. Uh, that's in the north of Russia. Um, so they basically they were preserved thanks to the permanently low temperatures in this region. As you know, northern Russia is very Pretty cold, cold Joya. Yeah. Uh, they found them back in August 2015, and like I said, they were basically fully preserved. I mean, it, it, if you look at an image of it, it it's, it's remarkable. You'd never think that this is 12 and a half thousand years old, for example, right? It looks like it's been in the freezer for like three years. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I think something like this is fascinating. I think being able to understand our history, figure out what these species were like, and especially to have something like this be alive and... It's scary you know, though. They want to bring back something that's been extinct. Uh, Jurassic Park, hello. That's like the first thing I thought of was Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know, that like, documentary <laughs> film, Jurassic Park, was really scary. No, I mean, I think it's it's fantastic, and yet, of course, I'm I'm concerned because one of the main things about Jurassic Park was like, they're you know they're exploiting these animals, and we'll see what like, what if they go crazy. I mean, that's of course my cinematic brain happening, but <laughs> still, like, what I'm curious is it for research or is it for zoos? Or is it something like that? I I always get a little cynical about. I think just the prospect in general of bringing back a creature that's been extinct and cloning it is just mind blowing. Yeah. I mean, that in itself is just so interesting and so cool to me that it's like, it, it, it's still science fiction, mm -hmm. but we have scientists in Russia and South Korea actively working on this as we speak, and it's actually a possibility. To me, that's like mind blowing, and I can't believe it. They're also actually, this very team is doing the same thing with the woolly mammoth too. So I mean, that in itself is pretty cool. So unfortunately we, well maybe fortunately I say, <laughs> we haven't found any dinosaurs that are like fully intact right. that we can do this with, but like, but still, that's so cool to like bring back something that's been dead for so long. What if we find like some, some human, like some Incan human in the mountains somewhere that's been like mummified, right. and then we can like bring them back if we find totally. some living tissue. I mean, that's much harder, right? Because these guys have been under the snow, permanently frozen for a very long time, so there still might be some living DNA, living muscle DNA that they can extract and use. But I mean, if they could do that with like a human, oh yeah. my God, that would be I mean, I saw Encino level. Man. I mean, you know, <laughs> Brendan Fraser, yeah, bring him back, movie. Link. Yeah, that's bring great. No, I think it's I think it's fascinating. I'll be interested to see what they want to do in the future. Like yeah, so, well, here, here's their plan. So they're using one of the cubs for this cloning thing, and the other one will be kept as part of, like, uh, a collection in a museum. So they're only going to do that with one. I hope they're successful because this plan sounds freaking awesome. And the scientists actually want to return back to that very cave to see if they can find more creatures that they should clone. Is it a good idea? Is it not? I don't know. You tell me.